Jesus. <laughs> that toast got me. A little. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Oh. Light's still there. Quinta steps through the light and ends up back at the secret room once more. But things appear to be slightly different from last time, making Quintus wonder if he'd even returned to the same room or the same point in time at all. The hole's not there anymore. Okay. I, I think this has to be the way to go, right? Uh Well, I was supposed to. You know, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> um, where am I going? Where the hell am I going? Can't you jump that high? Wait. I have to go this way. It's a mouse trap. Please, let me get whacked by it. Can I get whacked by the mouse trap? No. Is it going to do the same thing again? Yep. <laughs> That's fine. Can I press the keys? No, I'm too light. Why? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Made his way to the top of the Is there table two ways to find to the book yet again? Though hesitant this Hang on. time, Quintus let his curiosity get the better of him and decided to step onto the book once more. Hmm. Alright, let's get onto the book. Onto the book. I saw that earlier when I was uh, when I was looking at the chair. It seemed there was a way up. There is. I th not. I think I've looked the wrong way. But it's interesting. Okay. Let's go into here. See what it brings me. Please don't be inside the mouth of a cat. Where am I? Stepping Under a bed? through the light and out into a new room, Quintus got a sense of familiarity once more. Not memories from photos this time, though. Quintus had been here for this one. This was Lydia's room when she was a baby. Giraffe. This. Oh. Maybe there's no cat now. Quintus found a toy car park in the corner of the room. He remembered this one. It used to have a working elevator. It was battery operated, but it appeared that there was no battery in place. Quintus knew what he must do. Find a battery for the elevator, and then maybe he could get on top of the bedside table and get a glimpse of a little baby Lydia. I can look here. It's not baby, there's a book though. Okay. So... Huh. That's interesting. Why is there human shadow? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Elephant. How you doing? Oh, there's another house here. Let's go inside. Quintus found Lydia's doll's house, which he had many a fond memory of, as Quintus was never kept in a cage in the Shaw household, but instead made his home in this plastic heaven. So why is there working lights in here? It's a plastic fucking house. <laughs> Alright, thank you, thank you. Did not need that today, but... Yes, mm. a battery for the elevator, Quintus thought to himself, 
as he picked Where? the battery oh. up and made his way back to the toy car park. That's no. That is no. You know what? I'm gonna stay as far away as I can from you. No, 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 no. No, you're not playing that creepy shit on me. Fuck you. Do I do it for content? I don't. I, I think it would have popped by now. Okay, where can I put in the battery? Here? No, oh, what even is this? What the fuck? Why'd you drop it? I didn't press no fucking button. Okay. Okay. This is cool though. Like imagine you have a mouse like this. Like Quintus. He's a homie. And uh like he had all of this. Maybe maybe like Stuart Little, you know? What I put in the fucking battery? Okay, here's the elevator, right? Where does the battery go? Imagine towards the back. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> there we go, Quintus muttered. Now I can get up onto the bedside table. For real. So I'm gonna have to wait for the elevator. Does it come down to this level? Uh, does it, does, does it? Or is it just those two? It comes down to this one. No, it doesn't. Come on, quick. Quick. No, I hear it. It's clicking. No. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait. <sighs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Unless I can go up another one? No. That's fine. Oh, here it is, here it is. Alright. It went a little lower. Okay. It was a little little choppy. But you know, it works. Once up onto the table, Actually, very quickly. Quintus found oh. a tape player. Not remembering this being here, Quintus decided to press play and see what was on the tape. Okay. Alright, alright. I just I was just checking something very quickly. What's on the tape? Can you play? Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. I have made Sweet a mistake. Dreams, my little angel. Remember, I am always with you. No matter what. Oh, it's a spinning box. Could I play it again if I wanted to? No, I cannot. Okay. Man, that is freaky. How do you get up there? Or do you just fall in between the crack? Okay, I'd imagine just fall in between Quintus the crack. Arrives at the court, yeah. But to his dismay, there is no Lydia in sight. Oh, Lydia, I am shocked. Where are you, Quintus whimpered. What Quintus did find in the cot, though, was the book yet again. His ticket back home, he thought. Quintus hadn't found Lydia, so thought it best he go back and report to Alan. Okay. Oh my god, this game is fun. It is fun. Where is the little gap under the bed? <laughs> okay, yeah, I imagine so. No. Okay, let's just get.
get out. Alright. It's not like it's gonna be right now. See? Ow, oh, fucking Christ, it's blinding though! Jesus! All right. Quintus was not prepared for what he what found the fuck? in the room this time. The room had been wrecked. Was this present day Quintus Ford, or was it another wrong turning in time? Quintus made his way through the wreckage to find some answers. Yeah, I imagine he would. But this doesn't lead anywhere. Where am I, where am I going? Why? Huh. Oh. Okay. I see what I'm supposed to do. Alright. Uh, not there. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. This way. Uh. This way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way. Um Okay, this way. And um, Jesus. <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> um what is all of that? It is something. I thought it was a painting at first, uh with the first one. But it isn't. Come on, please snap on me. I can't jump on it. Why? Are you gonna are you gonna do it? Oh. Guess not. Alright. It's kind of a shock actually. Uh, is there a book? What the hell happened to the piano? Um Am I supposed to go this way? No, I'd imagine this way. <gasps> or do I drop down? Um, that is where I started. Okay, so we don't want to be there. Uh, if I drop down, there's no way back up. I think. And then over here, I think I'm supposed to drop down. All right. Quintus made his way through the wreckage until the book came crashing into view. This time, however, Quintus did not even place one tiny toe on the book, yet the book started opening another crack in the wall. Where? Maybe this one will get me back to where I need to be, Quintus pondered and continued towards the newly formed crack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's fine. <sighs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. I thought the game crashed. It's fine, alright. Fucking book just evaporated. Where am I back? Where am I back? Am I back? Where am I? A kitchen. Quintus stepped the outdoors. out of the light to find himself in some very oh. familiar surroundings. The Shaw residence. His home. In fact, if Quintus wasn't mistaken, not to this be could here. even be the same day the story began. This was Lydia's birthday. If it was, then Quintus knew what he had to do. Wait yeah! Alan. I was about to think. I was thinking. Wake up, Balin. Wake up, Balin. Wake up, Balin. Yeah. Okay. And then he's gonna bring me around the house. Um. Okay. So. This is a big ass house, though. Piano. Alan, I see you. I see you, Alan. What is that? A brush? Plank of wood. Okay. 
Hmm. Okay. Come on. We're gonna wake up this Alan. In the dining room to see Alan at the table, asleep with his head in his arms, just as Quintus had anticipated. Now all uh -huh. that was left to do was to wake Alan up. Uh huh. What the fuck? You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be here. Oh my god. Wait, how is he holding me? Quintus did not know <laughs> what, what to do. Who was this man? What was he doing in their house? How can he wake up Alan now? But then it dawned on Barricade Quintus. Him. He doesn't have to wake up Alan. Because he already did. Wise. Get in there. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Quintus. He's been kidnapped. He's been mouse napped, actually. <sighs> He's taking my Quintus. So they were... Huh, okay. Interesting. Why are you at the church? Are we playing this island now? A stray? Sorry. I don't know what it says. Is this where you sent me, wife? Or is this... Wait, is this our... Street? The street our house is on. Alan! Alan! Wake up! Quickly! Follow me! Huh? Is she good? Where am I? Stop! Wake up! Alan! Wake up! Alright, whoa. Okay, I thought I saw something there. Alright, let's follow the orb. What's that? Grass? It's just grass. Oh, for. Is this a fucking maze? Don't you dare tell me it's a maze. No, no, I'm going this way. Damn you. Damn you. I see the orb. Is that a wall? That's a wall. Oh. Okay. Am I gonna get over the wall? Um. Is that something blue? It is. What is that? Okay. Well, it's a fence. I think we can get it over easily right here. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Wow. What? I think it's actually just the sky. That's over there. Okay, yeah, that's fine then. Alright. It's, 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 it's a park. It's a park, is it? No. This is a road. <laughs> okay, where am I going? Am I going left or... Well, I can only assume that way, but... Alright. Okay, there's a roadblock there. Place. This is Churchview, Christie's hometown, where she's buried. Why is it so quiet here? That is a very good question, because I don't have the answer to that, Alan. Why was that happening? Why is that happening? Hello? Can I break in? No, okay. Um, I think I'm going to the church since it did show off the church early on in the preview for this. I suppose you can call it that. The or I, I don't know the loading in to this chapter. I don't know what the fuck you'd call it. 
Um. Right. I don't think you can get in there. It looks. What am I doing? Can I? Interesting. Interesting. Was that? Is there a way that? No way. There's a way there. And I just ran right past it. No, oh, that's a house. What? Wait. Where am I going? All right. Yep. This one's going to take me a while again. <laughs> The road again. I just can't get up the road again. Oh, the barn. Okay, we're going to the barn. I can only assume. Ah. <sighs> All right. Can I open it? Hello. Let me in the barn. Let me in the fucking barn. There's a way in. 100%. Hmm. Just look, it's modelled. Are you good? More going into the back of this house. Um. I would have thought it was a barn. Hello? Huh. I'm actually very confused now. Might have to restart the game. Because I think I'm supposed to be in the barn, but... Nothing is loading. Or like... Okay, maybe I'm missing something. Let's just try that first. Maybe we're missing something else. So I'm going to be at this for a while. <sighs> There's the graveyard. Why is it why is it cut off like that? Interesting. What? Oh my fucking god. Ah, uh, that was okay. Hmm. Locked. The gate is electronic, but the power's down. I know the drill. Do I go to the barn? Yeah, it, it looks like it leads to the barn. So, because there's the... <gasps> <laughs> I fucking hate you. I'm gonna fucking punt you across the fucking estate. Ah, <sighs> okay. So I just follow the electricity wire, which... Looks like it leads to the barn. Why? Hey, why? Why is there? Why? Why? It's just a normal person's house. Why is this open? Why is there electricity power going to the barn? Why? For the fucking gate for a graveyard? Quintus? That is a fucking rat. Not a mouse. <sighs> Why am I going up? Wait. Oh, it's supposed to go this way. <laughs> hey. Hello, little rat. You're not Quintus. You're my new friend. You were Quintus. Not, don't get confused with Quintus. Quintus. Right. Back to the church. Oh, you're gone. Alright, Kintus. Bye-bye. We love Kintus. Hopefully we don't find that cat out around it. We've... Shut up. Alright, you know what? Let's go visit the wife. Um... <sighs> God, I need to shit so badly. Where is the wife? Okay. Um, where is the wife? Where is the wife? You know what? Let's go inside the church yeah. first. Christy. 
Hmm. Okay, we're definitely going inside the church. It's modeled. You can see it through the crack. Now, where is my beloved dead wife? There. <laughs> it has to be. It's the only one that's lit up. Has to be, right? I'd be shocked if it isn't. It is, yeah, you can see it. Christy Gray. Christy? Wait, what? Alan, quickly. Oh, hello. Into the church. They know you're here. Who? Who's uh, they? Who are you? Quickly, inside. Who the fuck is they? Are you talking about my, my, the, the people who snatched my child? Or is my wife trying to get me snatched? Oh, close the door. Fuck you. You locked twice then, okay. What's happening? Alan, we don't have a lot of time. Who are you? It's me, Alan. Charlotte Trinity. You know, your A&R representative? Charlotte? What the fuck? What? What happened to you? You really have Damn, you're tall. I sure. What happened? They killed me, Alan. Who? Andromeda Records. And they're going to kill Lydia if you don't hurry. Quickly, down to the um, sewers. It will lead you to where you need to be. I'll hold the Where the fuck's is Alright, thank you. I'm gonna go cover myself in shit now. Okay. Uh, show me the poo-poo. I got Aww. to find Lydia. This is gonna stink. This has gotta stink. If I fall in, I'm gonna stink. Uh, records killed a her. The record studio. Huh? Why? Why would they do that? Why and why? Oh. No, I'm gonna go down this way. And uh, it's a dead end. Is it? I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like a walkable wall. Okay. <sighs> Let's go this way. God. Uh, oh my god. Why is it? Ooh. What's this? A brick. Can I have the brick? Okay. Guess not. There's nothing there. What's this about? Oh, there's colors. Alright, I'm gonna go down there in a second. So... Oh... Okay, we're making a code. Alright, so... Alright, we'll find the code in a bit. Is another brick? Why is there so many bricks? Can I have this one? Huh. There's a third fucking brick. What are the bricks for? Okay. Right. Sorry, can you press this multiple times? Uh, I've actually just pressed that again. I, yeah, I don't understand what's happening. So, I'm gonna go ahead, make my way down that way. Why is there bricks on the floor? That's what I want to know. So many bricks. Uh, there's nothing. There's another fucking brick. 
Is this supposed to tell me something? Red, blue, green, pink, yellow. 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 Okay. That's easy enough. Red. Okay. Red, blue, pink, yellow. Red, blue, green, pink, yellow. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, that, that, the blue, green, green, pink, yellow. Oh, my, am I getting on one of them rafts? Oh, it's not a raft, it's a, um, something I actually forget its name why do I forget its name I have no idea all right I guess this is the only way forward oh yeah because being in the sewers riding one of these will fucking help you find you your daughter They made me write that letter, you know. The one informing you that you are no longer a musician for Andromeda Records. They needed you out of the way. But why? So they could carry out their master plan. They believed if they took everything from you, you would be too down in self-misery that you wouldn't see the absent truth. Though, once I found out they had taken Lydia from you too, I couldn't stand it. I thought if I called you and told you to go to Andromeda Records, you would be able to put a stop to it. That was you on the phone? Voice changer. Sadly, once they realized what I had done, they decided to cut me out of Andromeda Records too. Charlotte, that's terrible. I'm... I'm so sorry. I'm still not understanding the big picture here though. There's no time to explain, Alan. My light's dimming. And you've got to get to Lydia before it's too late. Just remember, the book is the key. Wait, what book? Where is it? Is the key. Charlotte? Charlotte? Okay, I've got to find this book. I think it's the book that Quintus found. Okay. Alright. Just gonna make my way up here. And find this damn book. Oh. Where am I? I don't know. A mansion? Quintus? Quintus! No! Quintus? Quintus! Quintus! Is my homie alive? Cheese! And sand! It is heaven! Bro was so fucking out of it, he saw cheese. <laughs> He's alive. I know, little buddy. It's so good to see you. Right. Time to find this book. Hang on. This, th how did he communicate? Is Quintus stop speaking in fucking Morse code? Can I play? No? Okay. Alright, alright, at least Quintus is fine. As long as Quintus is fine, I don't really care. I like Quintus. Quintus is a homie. Uh, open? No. Okay. Uh, what is... That's locked. Okay, so let's go this way. 
see what's in here. Uh, what's this? A door. That leads nowhere. There's a ladder. That's not a ladder. <laughs> it looked like a ladder. Come on. You gotta cut me some slack. Look at it. Tell me that doesn't look like a fucking ladder. <sighs> okay. Though I probably should have paid attention to those. Yeah, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll take the L. That was bad from my end. Okay, so I need to make my way to where that locked part was. Which is over here. This thing. Quintus? We love Quintus. Okay, Quintus. See if you can find anything that will help us here. Oh, I can see his ankles. Okay. Let's have a look. Um, I probably should have thought of that first. To go to that one spot. But I thought it's like you're going to have to tear it down with like a hammer. I don't know why I thought that. That's going to lead to a wall. <laughs> I must be nearing the end of the game now, right? I got to find my daughter. Um, through the gap, which is in the wall. Oh, God. This, maybe, no, Quintus is tiny. Maybe he wouldn't be able to fit through. I was about to say, yes, um, Alan could probably fit through this. Probably not. Do I have to jump in there? Fuck it. I'm jumping in there. Unless something else happens, then I won't. But chances are I am. Where's the keyboard and mouse? Actually, where's the fucking PC? Jump in! There's, oh, there's a key. I think I have to give it to Alan. Yeah, where's the fucking PC? Okay, I, I, there's no putty cat, right? Right? There's no cash. Because if there's a cash, I'm gonna die. I don't wanna die. <sighs> okay. Just gotta make sure. Gotta make sure. This just went from horror to, like, um. Uh. More tamer. It's not really horror anymore. But you know what? It's still fun. I like this game. It is very fun. Alan, you and your ankles are going to get this key, okay? Alright. Um. Quintus? Thank you. Actually, hang on. Alright, not much. Alright. Do, 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 do. Oh, what? But, okay. Oh, no, it was it was open. Um, let's make my way upstairs. Ooh. Ooh. The book. Oh, at least the same That spot. must be it. Where? Huh? You a know fucking book? book? Okay, what? let's go get it. <laughs> what? What book? I don't see no fucking book. Is there a book here? In here? What's this? Mouse magazine. Oh, what the fuck? Why is the rotate so fucking squished? Wait, where's the book? Did I just run past it? I think I ran past the book. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. You know what? You know what? Oh, this is floating. No. Oh, I must have ran past it. Oh. It's down there. 
Okay, let's go get it. <laughs> I th okay. Oh. I'm getting the book. I don't Lydia, care about We found that. you, Lydia. No. Oh, that's my daughter. Lydia, wake up. What do we do? Maybe the book has some answers. Time travel? That sounds too dangerous. Resurrection. Raise a loved one from the dead, but a deal with the devil doesn't come free. Sacrifice a relative of the deceased for the devil to resurrect thee. So, that means... So that means someone has to die. Oh, Alan. You weren't meant to get in the way of this. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Haven't I lost enough? Andromeda Records was going under, Alan. Ever since we lost Christy, the angel of the violin. We haven't made any money, and you... You stopped making music for us as well. We had nothing left. Then we heard of a book that could change everything. It could resurrect the dead. We could bring Christy back. We could reunite her not only with you, but the world. And bring back Andromeda Records to its former glory. But we needed a blood relative to trade for her life. Lydia, you can't do this. I'm afraid it's too late, Alan. We have Christy's body. We have Lydia in the blood circle. Now we just need to make the sacrifice. No! Christy. Quickly, there must be a way to stop this. To reverse a curse that has already begun, these musical notes need to be played or sung. The devil hates melodies so pure and sweet. Play these notes, the devil will retreat. I haven't played in so long. But I have to. I'm gonna come under that no scream. It's like, no! Like... I'm sorry, you should have at least put some emotion into it. child bring back that darling smile i can't carry on without you without that sweet noise i have no idea this is all the toys <laughs> if there's no us oh there's boy no getting through through this life through all this pain it wouldn't be the same it's time to fix this world and make up no, I can't get by without you by my side Little child, it's time to wake up Wake up Yeah, yeah, yeah Oh, wake up Yeah, 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 yeah What is happening? She's doing the stanky leg. Is that the game? Quintus laid down in his nice warm bed as Lydia leant over and kissed his head. Good night, Quintus. The end. Hee <laughs> hee. I love that story. <laughs> Are that was you a story. Ever going to take that costume off? Um, no. I love it. <laughs> okay. Daddy? Yeah. How did you find me again? Well, I had a lot of help. Quintus? Yay, Quintus. Well done, Why you buddy. <laughs> my hero. He certainly was. Good night, Lydia. Good night, Quintus. Is that it? I'm going to record this. 
as my memory has been horrible lately. This has been the strangest day. From Lydia going missing, to being guided by the spirit of Charlotte, to finding out that Andromeda Records planned all this, and, of course, seeing Christy again. When they dug up Christy, they didn't think about her spirit, the spirit of a mother who never even got a chance to hold her baby. You dig that spirit up, that spirit is going to come back with every emotion that they felt before they passed. The anger, the pain, the longing for their child. Christy's spirit only wanted one thing. To help me get Lydia back. She scared the shit out of me. It was hard to say goodbye to her again. Luckily, I had Quintus. Or I don't think I could have made it through today. Quintus is Lydia's favorite toy. I always make up stories about his day to make her smile. So you looked like a psychopath. Just holding a toy. It was strange. When Christy's spirit knocked me out, I had the strangest dream of Quintus time traveling. Imagine that. I'll have to tell Lydia about that one tomorrow. What the fuck? Wow. Wow, wow. What a game. Interesting. Okay. So... It was very fun, the game. It was very fun. I really like it. Um... Okay, that's interesting. I... So, it was just a... Well... He looked crazy just walking around with Quintus. Imagine this, right? He found a toy of Quintus on the stage. Like... <laughs> I was like, no, Quintus! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm making fun of the game, but... Genuinely, that was a very fun game. Genuinely. It was very fun. Thank you for playing Quintus and the Absent Truth. Very fun game. But. <laughs> the story of just a crazy man walking with a toy in his hand. I think everything else, like the book, um, all that stuff was real. I just found this the experience in the chapter section. So. What the hell? Oh, oh, it all what started the fuck? on a day that was quite grey and misty. Before there was an Alan, a Lydia, or a Christy, there was just one thought from this one indie dev. I want to make a game about a mouse called Quintus. I mean, Quintus means <laughs> fifth in Latin, you see, and this is my fifth game, well, my fifth on PC. So off Orion went with a mouse and a use and started creating Quintus and the Absent Truth. Okay. Whoa. Quintus, you're big. Your new best friend Quintus has been looking over Lydia since she was a baby. Okay. Wow. First there was Ooh. Quintus, but the game needed more. A human to control and some other characters, sure. Alan came naturally but needed a reason to exist. Then a little bunny Lydia came to assist. Lydia came to Orion Moon in a dream, the daughter of Alan, his reason for being. But where was her mother? She was nowhere in sight. And this is where the story really took flight. So, this guy's a poet. Oh, you are fucking big. Oh my. You can read that if you want. 
Uh, I'll just have these up for you guys. Okay. Is that Alan? No, that's Alexander Wood. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What? I never saw this. Monster. In the origin idea for Quintus and Epson Truth, this monster was to be chasing you around. Scary. I kind of wish they did. I wish they kind of went for that. What the fuck? You little shit. Open. Fuck you. Oh. I we like had this. Quintus, Alan, Lydia, and Christy, Andromeda Records as well for this mystery. The characters were there, the scene had been set. Now the story needed a life shattering threat. It came to Orion one day as he dreamt. A tale of an evil record label's attempt to go back to being the world's greatest group, and all it took was the use of a magical book. Quintus, you're massive again. Come small. Music was to play a huge part in this tale. Alan, a musician, and Christy as well. So the soundtrack to this story had to be strong to whisk us away with each little song. Okay. Music. Ooh. Oh, so you step in here and... Okay. Alright. So... It's just a... Okay, no. I would have imagined that was the last song they played. With Alan singing. Now the story was set, and the characters too. The music was made. It was time to continue. The first set piece that needed some precedence was a lovely home, the Shore Residence. Okay. The Shore Residence, okay. Can I go inside? Yes, I can. Let's go. Where it all began, yes. Can I... Oh, I can. Is there, is there a light in here? Why is there a fucking light? That's locked. Okay. Um. There's the vent. What's this? Locked door. Everyone who was behind the door, well, nothing. But the reason it's here is actually a reference to Orion's Moon Game, Alaska, where there was always a locked door in the main protagonist's house. The door revealed a, a large plot a point later in the game. Interesting. There probably is actually something behind the door, but, you know, it'd be like that. Um, you can't, it says examine, but you can't. Alright, let's go outside. I've been doing this for you guys. I need to shit so badly. And I'm, 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 I'm holding it off. Just for you guys. Ah. <sighs> Okay. The game had begun. It was in motion at last. Walls were being built. Orion was having a blast. And then it came to his attention. The game was missing a style. The visuals looked the same as every other he trialed. He needed something new, something original, fresh, to make our dear Quintus look at his very best. So Orion created a new filter for this tale. The Quintus filter. Let's see it at scale. Okay. What the fuck? I can't read that. With Quintus filter. Without Quintus. F oh. I actually like this. I mean, I like this as well. Don't get me wrong. But I like this as well. I like that. Oh. Oh. Uh. Where am I going? Okay, exit, okay. And that is how is Quintus and the Absent Truth began. From idea to development, Orion followed his plan. He oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's it. Okay.